All right. The observant among you may recognize that this is not where we left off last time. Uh, specifically, we have uh, we are back in camp and we have rewound the clock just slightly. Oh, Matt, I'm excited to have you here. So changes uh, that we'll go over at the beginning of stream is uh, the main all the main changes have to do with our boy Asterion who previously had the Knight uh, Ranger specialization, uh, but that was no longer necessary because Asterion has switched from using the legendary Heavy Helm to using the Covert Cowl, which at least while we're in the Shadowlands is going to be, I think, wildly effective, uh, in decreasing our crit chance again. And then we also swapped in the flawed Helldusk gloves to get a little bit of fire damage on our hits we'll see if that one sticks we may swap back to the gloves of power uh, certainly if we're doing any thievery we will switch over to the gloves of power so those are the those are the main adjustments now that reminds me though one thing if you're not aware how to do this this is very important uh i used to always click on the uh the custom button here or excuse me the, it was the passives yeah click on passives to toggle sharpshooter on on and off but you can actually drag it from here so that is that is good for business we'll do that i think it's going to live here and then i am unclear on on why things are slightly funky over here we uh yeah, we definitely our stuff definitely got shuffled up a bit while we were uh while we we're in there so i'll just Shift things around a little bit. Put the archery stuff there. I did pick up silence. Ah, wait. Here are our... Uh, never mind. I was like, where are our last bits? But the sneak attacks should live over here. There we go. That looks relatively correct for now. But anyways, like I said, we... We, uh, we took a bit of a rewind. We're going to take the same path that we took last time. But we are at the site of the ambush rather than uh, further in. Uh, and I actually went ahead and uh, rolled back the save a little bit just so that as we progress through here, we can talk about uh, some of the ins and outs. It, it has its, uh, its pluses and its minuses for sure, Alex. Uh, oh, I guess we, uh, we missed this along the way, or maybe we got it last time, I don't remember. But we'll get it. We'll certainly get it this time. Let's see how that uh, that minus one to uh, to sleight of hand hits hits us. Looks like we uh, we don't have too much to be concerned about. Let's see. Okay, these two go to you. That goes to Lizelle. These things have stayed interesting. Can't slow down. Guess we'll grab this while we're at it. In my pack. We're starting to collect a lot of a lot of garbage. I also, do these do these mini boxes? Do they remain mini? in the future. I feel like at some point they lose their mini status, but that's a different story. Minimum of plus 13. We used to have a lot more. We, we've been slowly paring it down. It's a, it's also, it's a plus 13 with advantage. So, you know, <laughs> take that for what you will. Let's see anything over here that we missed. Does, uh, does this actually go up? Oh, okay. We, we missed this on our last walk by, I'm sure of it. But it also looks like this extends a little bit further, even. Send that to Lazel, send that to camp. So let's see. So you're telling me that I can jump up here. Doesn't look like there's a lot of utility to it. I guess we could have used that to connect through to here, but it does not appear to change much. Yeah, the Cat's Grace at Garmer is great, but we also had another another pair of gauntlets before that that gave advantage on sleight of hand. I don't remember what the name of those were, 
but uh, but we've cleared all of this area, and we are going to be going back to the toll house once again for cookies. Clearly, we need some cookies now that we have the pixie's blessing. All right, into the darkness we go. So, like I said, we we ended last stream when we entered into the when we entered into the dialogue with the uh, with the toll collector. I was like, "Ooh, this may take longer than we expect." No experience required. Gaze upon the gate. I want to gaze upon the gate. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. Now this, this is uh, this toll house has a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on with it. Prayers, charms, battle cries. The Harper's work. They were primes for combat. So previously we kind of looped around here. I think this time we're just going to go in straight on. Hey, Pallone! New, uh, new logo or new, uh, new icon. I like it. Looks good. Can we take this help wanted sign? No, we cannot. So, so okay, so we are, we are in the toll house. And the, what essentially what we did last time was we walked up this way and walked upstairs after noticing that there's some creepy skulls floating around, like the visage of obedience here. So we we could, I think we're gonna explore everything. What did you say? Ah, but here's here's the main attraction. Our our uh, our friend uh, Gering. Gering Oath? Thorm? And uh, they are they are un unsurprisable. And just they do uh, they do a lot of work. And they also happen to have about six hundred hit points. So we're gonna we're gonna go chat with them. And uh, this is this is where I was saying we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna do this wrong at first. Because uh, I have a little more intel on what's going on here. And I would like to uh, I would like to make a mis make the mistake that I made when I was just tinkering around with it. So we walked up this staircase, not realizing that there was anyone in the mix, and we got kind of caught off guard by our friend here. What do you bring? This this character is amazing. Uh, let's see. Ballad sonnets jigs. The list is endless, really. I require good. Well then. I think we tossed a coin to the to the thing. It certainly does like it. Spooky. And then I, I think we, uh, I don't hand out so gold, uh, I don't hand out much gold, uh, for so little you in return. The river, but first you must pay. Now, the, the persuasion check here avoids the fight, uh, which we, I am not going to do. And then I'm going to say I've already paid another. another one. No, I'm afraid I'm actually your replacement. Okay. Ah, uh, this ends now. If you cannot pay, you cannot pass! Gold! 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 Okay, now this thing is very fast, and this is this is my favorite part. Oh. What the... Alright, here we go. I love this. The first time it happened, it was just so magical. So, what just happened there? So, Lazel may or may not be carrying about 46,000 gold. And so what happened is, 
it is that as soon as uh, as soon as this thing opened on us, it cast Jealous Avarice, uh, seizing seizing greed. The to oh seizing on greed. The toll collector damages a character based on how much gold <laughs> they are carrying. Hey, Ricky. Oh, new Spider-Man 2 is amazing. Love to hear it. So this does a lot of damage, uh, the exact numbers of which are a little unclear. But as you can see, uh, 46,000 gold causes a lot of damage to be done. It looks like it's for every X amount of gold. It does that uh, that that roll. What was it again? Eight to, uh, eight to 96 damage. Now, to be clear, Despite Lazelle being knocked down, I think we can absolutely still win this fight, uh, just based on the mechanics of it. But there's another interesting element to this, and so I wanted to start out just by blowing Lazelle up. Yeah, it's it's just a fun thing that I, I didn't want to miss out on. But let's let's go back, and uh, there's a very interesting other element to this fight that I did not realize. So this time around, we're going to uh, we're going to behave slightly differently, and. We're actually going to behave in a way that is counter to our par par party's blessing. Uh, they're all going to disapprove, but seems like clearly the right way to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to Lazelle, and unlike previously, we're going to we're going to round her down to about six thousand gold. We're going to send the rest to camp, and we're going to toss this over to our main hero. And now we're going to go through the process again, but this time we're actually going to uh, we're actually going to hand over a big stack of gold, and we will see what uh, what occurs. Let's uh, let's split people up. Just get over here. So hopefully, there we go. All right. What do you bring? So. Uh, what do you require? I require gold. Shocking. Uh, let's see. Toss the creature a gold piece. The the effect is just so good here with it consuming gold, but, but, and this is an important but, that action does not actually destroy the gold, believe it or not. It It looks like it would. Uh, how much do you want? All that you have. Okay. So we'll say fine, take it all. See, this is what everyone disapproves of. But so now I'm tossing it about 6,000 gold. Which it gorges on. Enough! Yes. You may pass. So that gets us a ton of experience, and it gets us uh, the Sign Trade Visa, which uh, has the ability to turn enemies to gold. It's a one-time use uh, ability. But now what we're going to do is now, despite having, uh, having cleared ourselves up, we're going to go ahead and uh, now engage in the fight and, uh, and kill this monstrosity. Oh, and that will get us I back the gold, blood. and we will have the best of both worlds. Got to press on. Trust me. Over here. So we we're I actually better this. off. We're better off hiding Asterion and opening with Lazel here. <laughs> missing missing is not great, but. Uh, We'll uh, we'll let let him do the do him let him do his thing. The the miss was a bummer. The seventy five is is a shame, but let's uh, let's get you firing before it is too late. So by killing each one of these, we are going to. So if we look at her now, she has all of these different coin abilities associated with her. So what we're going to do is we are going to strip those away one by one. The The goal here is to use Asterion as much as possible to, to soften them up. Oh, this isn't your ambush turn, is it? 
I see. All right. Still breathing, despite everything. I need to find a way forward. We could use a haste now, but I don't think we. I don't think we actually even need it. So you can see, each time we hit her, some of her armor is going to be removed. So we're slowly taking her down without actually doing any damage. And because we don't have a bunch of gold on us, we are uh, significantly less in, in jeopardy. We, she's now sleeveless, looking sharp. We'll probably take the opportunity attack just to come over here and get this one done. I've not tried hand crossbow on Asterion. Uh, if I'm being honest, I... I struggle a bit with... With it, I, I know that it is uh, it is regarded as, like, a, a good way to go. So, Mr. Bunny, you, you arrived just after I, uh, just after I went through once and, uh, basically got, uh, got my, got my heroes killed with my gold because it was fun to watch them explode for, like, a jillion damage. So, an action surge here does push us quite a bit further. I I think we can do this fight without. So I will uh I'll chill for the moment. Let's let's get our people a little more spread out just so they're not quite so quite so susceptible to Can you run over this way? There we go. Thank you. I will give it. These uh the skulls do AoE. There's an opportunity attack. Oh, critical miss is rough. The, the, the skulls don't do too much. That you did treasure. You you missed Lazel getting one shot for the most damage we have ever taken by a long shot. Uh, if if people are interested, I could uh, I could go back and reprise my role once more. We will we will toss out one of these suckers just to just to finish the job. So that pops off another piece of her armor. I think she just lost her she just lost her pants. Rough life. Still wearing some type of creepy gold diaper. Uh, concerning to say the least. Let's uh, let's have you tank. So I'm gonna put you in in kind of prime position. Taking a tiny bit of ship damage here, nothing too bad. These uh, these are pretty cool too. Oh, that's not who we want to. Have. So we have these uh, summoning gold halberds that float, very similar to the to the cleric ability. Let's see. So Asterion, unfortunately, you're you're now in opportunity and you're at disadvantage here, I believe. We'll, we'll still we'll still roll the dice, but I was I was a little concerned about that. Too heavy to shove is is kind of surprising. We could use our cunning action disengage. That's probably a good idea because uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get a shot off on this guy. I think he's around the corner. Uh, time to push my luck again. But yeah, so I don't know. Hand crossbows feel... I, I kind of like them on the bard, but thematically I don't love them on Asterion. Uh, which I, I know may be sacrilege, because I know that it's just it's so many attacks. But is there any way we can get a shot off on you? I don't think we can. We'll still try, but yeah, it looks like the I mean, almost yeah, almost looks like we would we could have made it. But we'll uh, we'll have Lazel come around and do it. And then I guess uh, that gives Asterion the kill. So now that we've uh, now that we've stripped all of the all of the armor. They're just a sad little naked, 
naked gnome person. Sorry. Free from the curse now. Perhaps you'll find peace. All right, so let's see. So shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. That leaves us with plenty of stuff to clean up. I'm just gonna hit it with a uh, quick save, since I feel like a handful of people have joined that might want to see the uh, the explosion. We can go back to this save really quickly, and we'll just we'll just do it one more time just so that everyone can see the hilarity that happens when you uh, when you don't uh, send your gold back to camp or hand it over to. Uh, to the collector because it's it's just one of the when i finally read the combat log on that one i was like this is otherworldly so as a reminder well be done. we currently have 46k gold Let's move. Need to find a way so when forward. we come up here and meet the collector uh the collector does something weird if all of your gold is uh is on you let's see uh i bring you death what do you Lazel loves that answer. Must pay. Gold. 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 This is perhaps one of my favorite characters from from things. Okay, so here we go. So, so it does this. Uh, oh, is it not going to? It's definitely going to do it, right? Oh, so it doesn't always do. The ability, how interesting. Time to strike. Why why can't I Swift and lethal. Why can't I move Shadow Heart right Let's now? Finish this. That's odd. She seems to be in the turn order in a place where I should be able to. But we'll just go poke this guy. I did also in my uh, in my after school testing. I tried uh, leaving all of the skulls up and just seeing about uh, straight killing this fool, and I did successfully do it. No, it didn't do it. Didn't do the ability. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the. There we go. I, I baited the opportunity attack so I could come over here. And this is uh this is no longer cannon, so we're gonna we're just gonna do we're gonna do it the easy way. Uh excuse me? Did uh that did not fire my uh Huh. That did not fire my multi hit arrow, which was odd. Multi-hit arrows are the king of DPS in my uh, in my experience. That's good numbers. Yeah, I don't I don't fully understand how how bonus actions work with uh with those. We we don't want to kill it too quickly. We still have this action going. Let's see if we can bait this guy to do the thing. Or maybe it doesn't always do it. It's very odd that it, it did not. Good hiding. Asterion is currently hidden from this visage. That is, that's some good stealth right there. Still hidden? Impressive. But yeah, this, I, I'm surprised because last time, it, I think it's potentially because they dashed. I think that's what got it. But 
we're hoping we're hoping that it, they blow up uh they blow up Lazel. Cause this fight's gonna be over real soon if not. Okay, let's let's see it. There we go, jealous avarice. Kaboom! And this right here is why you don't bring gold to uh, to this particular fight. We're not going to sum it up because I think it would just take too long. But that is a lot of hits for 50. We, we can count them real quick, just approximately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... That's 500, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it looks like there's about 25 per page. There's one page. Then we go down to the 45. There's two pages. So that's 50. There's three pages. So that's 75. And then that 41, there's four pages. That's 100 times 50. It's 5,000 damage. Yeah, looks like 5,000 damage and change. So, that's a... Lazel got a slightly exploded. A slightly exploded. There's a... Oh, she keeps her money. So I guess she's got that going. But uh, yeah, the, the end of this fight would be a pretty straightforward. Especially if we're using these multi-hit arrows. Spill some blood. I wish I had more multi-hit arrows, but yeah. So, you know, same same general outcome. And and less experience, I'm pretty sure. But uh but let's let's load back. Let's load back to our we did it right save. Yeah, it, it's pretty it's a pretty cool fight treasure. Uh, once you understand how it works, though, it's it's pre a pretty straightforward fight as well. There's not a lot of threat if you recognize that you don't need to do 600 damage, and you can just take out the skulls. And Asterion is is uh, shockingly good at that. But the other thing that we got, and you only get this if you give the Toll Collector more than 6,000 gold, is the Signed Trade visa, Vista. Or signed, signed trade visa, excuse me. A visa promising safe passage to Baldur's Gate stamped with the letters GT. Now, this is very confusing to me. Because what... See, it has this single use and action. And what it does is it actually allows you... So if we read it... Yeah, see, so if we, we read it, it casts a spell... And this spell is a version of stone to flesh, but it is called gold to flesh. And, uh, and gold to flesh will convert one enemy. Oh, no worries. No worries at all, uh, Treasure Hunter. I'm glad, I'm glad we could share that one. But yes, gold to flesh converts an enemy to gold, and it has very low... Yeah, they have to use three saving throws. It's very interesting. So anyway, so we're going to grab... All of these skulls have nothing going on with them. But we can pick them up because they're kind of fun. We also have lots of gold to pick up. As far as I know, the room is now is now safe. But like I don't think there's anything else in the toll house. That's that's as far as I went. I wanted to I wanted to experiment with uh with the toll collector kind of off stream because we left it in such a so i i did not try uh converting the toll collector to gold we can definitely try that i i just find these these individual like seven deadly sin heads to be very uh very curious can't send them to camp. Can I just send them to Lazel? Nope, I can't send them to Lazel either. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go back to camp very quickly and drop them off. Luckily, it's not it's not much of a hike. 
my digital hoarding is is showing. But yeah, we can we can try converting the toll collector to gold. That's a that's a very interesting concept. But as you can see, we get back the money that we uh, that we previously had, and we also get two more things. We get the toll house master's key. And we get this, Twist of Fortune, which looks pretty straightforward. When you roll a two or less this weapons on this weapon's damaged die, we roll it and take the new result, which is nice. Uh, but the thing that is very interesting is blood money. Uh, strike out greedily, dealing an additional three bludgeoning damage per 300 gold the target possesses. possesses. Undead and constructs can't receive gaping wounds. So there's, uh, there's some interesting things you can do with... Uh, with this particular weapon. There's uh there, there's some some people who have cheesed the game by handing over a giant stack of gold and then uh and then blowing up oh don't go there. Alright, down you go, I guess. And then blowing up particular bosses that you can uh, you can pickpocket. Yeah, my I here let me uh